Hey guys and welcome to another video, a part of the beekeeping beginner course playlist. Today I'm doing a day in the life of a bee farmer. We're going to put insulation on the hives before this cold weather drops and then we're going to uh, put some fondant on the hive. So the gills are still alive which is good. The gills need fondant so we're going to give them... Okay, so I thought I would show you, um, ooh, it's getting dark outside so I'm going to have to be quick, uh, but here, here's the insulation that we got, um, so it's, it's cut exactly like the inside of a national hive, uh, so we're going to, we, all we do is put the, this on top of the crown board and um, put a deep roof on top then. So I'm pretty much done now for for putting insulation on all the hives. We have uh, one more hive, uh, one more uh, apiary to put on, which is the nuke apiary. So I'm just going to pop a few. We've only got uh, four or five insulation blocks left. Uh, so I'm just going to have to pop it on top and just put a strap around it then. <laughs> So I'm not actually going to look inside because I haven't got my suit on for one and also it's quite cold so I think that they are going to be in their uh, winter cluster so I don't want to break them. I checked for fondant not too long ago so these guys should be okay. I'm just going to take a risk. Overall, the polystyrene hives are a lot warmer than the wooden hives, uh, so that is a massive plus to these uh, polystyrene nukes. But just to be certain, since we had snow quite late in the year, uh, quite late in the winter last year, we're still going to put a nice slab of insulation on top just to keep them uh, extra warm. Right, so there we are, we've got all the uh, insulation on top of all the hives, that concludes it. Uh, it concludes us putting insulation on uh, the hives now. Uh, we sorted out uh, just around 70 colonies over the past few days, checked all the hives for fondant, and I think we're going to have to uh, have another batch of fondant. They seem to be consuming the fondant a lot I mean uh, the weather has been quite mild which has been a bit of a problem and I think that now that the cold weather is finally coming in um, it's actually quite a good thing it hasn't felt like winter now I know that in uh, the winter it isn't too um, entertaining let's just say that uh, I've been trying my best to do little reviews and things that we can do in the winter but obviously in this cold weather uh, I just want to crack on and get things done one thing that I want to talk to you about is the use of mouse guards. But in the past few weeks we've had uh, a loss from mice. Now we had our small entrance block in, uh, but when you have a large amount of apiaries we didn't have time, which is uh, our fault. Um, we didn't have time to get a mouse guard down onto the hive. So we got a small entrance block on there and obviously the mouse got into there and wrecked the hive. Here's what we should have had on the hive. We had plenty of them uh, and we should have got it down. It was, it was fairly uh, low down onto the floor. It wasn't on one of our stands. Uh, so it was a bit of a problem and that problem we didn't fix. 
We've also had a large amount of wax to boil down and get ready. So we had the steam wax melter going, uh, which you can see photos here, or you can pop over to our Twitter page, which will be in the link in the description, which shows you exactly what I've been doing at this point in time. Now, I've also made a load of frames here, so I've had to get uh, the boxes, the empty boxes, ready up here so that we can get wax in the frames and get them out of there because before you know it it'll be season again and I want everything to be sorted. We've had just under 200 supers um, all checked for wax moth and a lot of them have been badly affected after being stored upstairs here. So I might as well go and show you all the frames uh, that we have cut wax out um, and then boiled up the frames outcome of the frames that we've had now as you can see uh, they kind of a lot of them have had a uh, split in them uh, there you go splitting them the sides of the frames that come off um, but what we found is that uh, all of the waxy bits have kind of just come off and they kind of turned into this white grainy stuff which you can easily take off with your hand uh, so doing this, uh, melting down the wax and then cutting um, and then boiling up the frames is an easy solution and will save you a lot of money. Here, as you can see, terribly affected by wax moth. I've seen quite a bit in the past few weeks about other people saying that they have been badly affected by wax moth. Here again, we have uh, tons of frames, dark frames. With, uh, replacing a lot of the frames this year because um, I mean you're supposed to replace it every few years and we haven't done so there you go they're all affected by uh, wax moth again so obviously many of you will be looking at doing similar things uh, in the next few weeks one thing that we've never done before first of all we've never done insulation before but the next thing that we're going to do is wrap the hives in a chicken wire like fence so here's what we have and I'm looking to do this in the next few weeks. See that big roll of net in there that costs about uh, £18 for that particular one. Now in the area we have green woodpeckers which as soon as the ground gets icy and they have nothing else to eat the first thing that they're going to go for is the beehive. I mean, it's a great target there. It's just right for the woodpecker. And looking at some of the boxes that we had while I was inspecting and storing them, it looks like many of the hives have had a little peck from a woodpecker. And at the minute, here in the UK, um, it looks like snow is coming in. Uh, but it has been snowing in Sheffield, for example, a couple of days ago. So obviously with the icy conditions uh, coming in, then I think that a roll of this netting could save the boxes. Another job is obviously putting Fonda Bee on your high, especially if they're low for stores. If you haven't seen my video on how to heft the hives and how to install Fonda Bee onto your hives, then check it out. It'll be on my channel, part of the beginner beekeepers playlist. I mean, general maintenance with the equipment, uh, such as smokers, hive tools, etc., all need to be uh, kept up to date. Obviously, I've done a video on how to do washing soda, and making frames is also a big part of the winter the winter jobs put entrance reducers on the hive because you'll regret if you don't especially if the bees aren't on a stand you'll be uh, gutted once once a uh, mouse gets in especially if you only have one or two uh, one or two hives uh, you really will be disappointed now i hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't checked out the channel or the rest of the videos already then please go and check it out Press the subscribe button and also the little bell on the corner will notify you when I have uploaded. I'm looking at whacking out a couple of uh, videos in the next couple of weeks, but uh, I'm primarily trying to get things done here at the April. Now again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.